Hi, welcome to Arch Merch 6.3.1. We are January 2018 and we've been developing Polybar for a few weeks. It's ready to be released, so this is going to be our Polybar weekend. First of all, uh, what is it for and how can you use it and so on. So what you do, you go to Firefox or Vivaldi Google Chrome and you go and look what it is all about. Polybar Arch Wiki or Arch Wiki Polybar. And what do we get? We do not get the wiki from Arch, uh, but we get something else. We get Jaeger or Jaeger, I don't know, Polybar, a fast and easy to use status bar. So this will be your Bible. A lot of information is on this website. So this is the developer and we have here some images, what you can expect. These uh, panels on the top, we have panels in i3. We have panels in uh, Openbox, so it's definitely for those, those two in Arch Merch, not so much for XFCE. But it can be used as well for Xmonad, it can be used for PSPWM and a lot of other tiling managers that we'll still have to develop and have to discover ourselves. So Polybar is a bar. It can have a lot of elements in there, history icons, window titles, volume controls, workspaces, battery displays, CPU. You just read it what's all what's possible here and we'll show you in a bit how to install it. So let's quit that one. It's a clean install as you can see. And let's install Polybar. There are two things to do. There's a polybar configuration, that's our work, that's what we have made with the Arch Merge team together, and we have the program itself, polybar. So, Ctrl T, when we want to install it, whatever uh, desktop environment we're on, i3, Openbox, or XFC, in this case XFC, you go to the terminal, and there is this application that's called Packer. If you don't know the name, uh, polybar, you can quickly take a look here. So that's the configuration. We do not need the configuration right now. We just need the application. And we're going to use this one. So if this one, the number one, gives you problems, you can always try out Git version. But normally, number one will be just fine. So you say uh, yogurt dash s polybar, or you say here number one. And then we are working and installing polybar. It will be never included on an ISO because Polybar needs to see what's on your machine. It needs to find i3, it needs to find applications, and then it will build um, elements for it. So it's um, it's needed that you build Polybar on your system yourself after installation. So, okay, that's very important. And the other thing, while that's maybe doing its job, we can also install sudo pacman minus s all the arch, arch merge packages are these guys so there's a new one new kit in the block polybar kit we can install both and it's it's version 6.3.3 we have now and we install it and that's it now every time you see this sentence here the files have been installed in etc scale it means you have to do something because we do not want to override your own home directory because this is your .config folder. So what do you need to do? To do, you go to TrueNAR file manager. This is a clean install, so there is no bookmark ready. So etc, scale, take it and move it there. Voila. Inside scale, there's nothing. Yeah, sure there is, control H. And then you have what is this is the, the clean installation of Arch Merge. This is what's there first time you reboot it. So the config, we have here polybar that has been installed. We copy paste it to our own system in the config. There is no polybar here. So control V. And next time when we run and we start up polybar, it will take a look at this folder, see that it can be launched read a configuration and execute scripts so that's that's all it is but it's a configuration of a few lines let's wait first for this installation because this is the installation video so 
In the meantime, I've done a lot of things because it takes a lot of time to build it. And I came back and there you go. Only for 2.2, 2.4 megabytes, we have to take a lot of time to build this thing. So that's it, basically. We have now a system which uh, has polybar. We can test it out with super shift and then D. And then we can see that the polybar is indeed a program, an application. It's there. Now in XFC, we can't do anything with it. So we're going to end this video here and we're going to go to i3 because that it's really meant to be used on i3. But you can use it in OpenBox as well.